The University of Arkansas Libraries Special Collections holds a wide range of manuscript collections and published works that can enhance your research projects. In addition to collections used in our reading room, Special Collections offers access to many materials online through the library's digital collections. This video is part of our Using Digital Collections series, which provides information on how to navigate and use digital collections over the course of your research. This video will focus on the Arkansas Traveler newspaper, the long-running student newspaper of the University of Arkansas. The University of Arkansas has a long history of student publications beginning as early as 1895. The University Weekly, today the Arkansas Traveler, was first published on October 10, 1906. The project to digitize the newspaper began in 2017 and was made possible through the generosity of alumni and friends of the university. Thank you, libraries donors. The University Library's collection of the paper begins with the January 16, 1907 issue. This digital collection currently includes the paper's issues from 1907 to 2007, with a gap from 1973 to 2003. The digitization of all issues from the collection, including from 1973 to 2003, is scheduled to be completed in 2021 in honor of the 150th anniversary of the University of Arkansas. Materials were digitized by the University of Arkansas Library's Digital Services Department. This collection is an important resource for university history and fills in gaps within university records. To access the digital collections, you can go directly to digitalcollections.uark.edu or you can navigate to the digital collections from the Special Collections homepage by selecting the Digital Collections tab above the search bar. Let's say I'm interested in learning about student experiences of World War II and I'd like to see how students at the time reported on this. I'm going to search for the term war. However, it is important to note that this search box does not currently search the full text of the articles, so when I search war, I won't be shown every issue in which the term appears. Instead, I'll be shown a list of all items in which the term war is included in the description of that item. My search results show me items from all the digital collections, but I'm specifically interested in the traveler, so I'm going to narrow my search by deselecting the other collections listed and selecting only the Arkansas Traveler and clicking Update. Since I'm interested in how World War II affected students at the University of Arkansas, I'm going to select an issue from the time period in which the United States was actively involved in the war between December 1941 and May 1945. I'll select January 8, 1943 from the Issue Date tab on the side. The one next to the date indicates that there is one digitized copy of this particular issue. Once I've selected an item, I'm brought to the record for that item. This page includes a preview of the item, as well as some basic information about this issue. The record provides the title of the item, the volume and issue number, the issue date, the headlines on the front page, the extent or length of the publication, as well as publication information and copyright information. If the term war appears on this page, the issue will appear in my search. The list of subjects in red will link me to all other items that were also assigned this subject. I can download the issue by clicking on the download icon. Once downloaded, I can search the full text of the issue for my search term. Another way I could perform this search would be to browse the digital collections and narrow my search from there. Selecting Browse Digital Collections will take me to all of the digital collections. Selecting the Arkansas Traveler newspaper takes me to the home page for the digital collection. This page provides historical background as well as information about how this collection was digitized and made available online. This page also provides a suggested citation for this digital project. To search within this collection, Select the Browse This Collection button located at the top and bottom of the screen. This will show me all issues within the collection. I can then narrow my search by issue date, volume or issue number, headline, or subject area. Again, I would narrow my search to my time period of interest, either by paging through the collection or by selecting an issue that falls within my time period in the side menu. From here, I could download the issue and search within it as I did in the earlier search. 
Research isn't a linear process, so you may need to adjust your search filters and search strategies multiple times to find the materials you are looking for. For more information about the University Library's digital collections, please visit digitalcollections.uark.edu.